<laughs> What's up, 360 Cam? What's up, 360 Cam, we're just watching Sir Shamrock video, making comments. Oh yeah. That was the most lame attempt at singing I ever did in that video. How long is this video? A little more than two minutes. Oh, so we did it in start early. Cool. Would you be able to hand me those glasses uh, during the music? Yeah. I'm actually going to take these off. Where's Thomas McGill? <coughs> Thomas McGill. <laughs> Oh, good. He doesn't look up at all during those. Like no, he, he could, he, he couldn't hear last. He looked up while we were coming down the hallway, but that was it. Oh, okay. So he cared a little bit. Go get your pencils. Out. Did you ever get that pencil? <clears throat> no, it was really hot. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's still in the ceiling. Like actually. Me. <laughs> Daylight. I wake up like it's an hour ahead. Stay woke. Anyway, Ugh. morning after that. My name's Ethan Brubaker. And I'm Seth. Today Today's Monday, March 12th. Please rise for a moment of silence and I pledge you the flag. Eastern. <coughs> I think so. Yeah. Like we're doing it. Are now still a little tired. So will you start with this one? Or okay, we'll see how it works. Okay, cool. Oh, give me the glasses. It's not music. No. Didn't know yours. Oh, oh. Hey. Sir Sharmoff is a charity event run by the National Honor Society over the years. Sir Sharmoff has raised money and awareness for the American Cancer Society, Alzheimer's Society, Shriver's Pediatric, Ho Pediatric Hospital, the Humane League. And many more organizations to help support our society's needs. Did you know, Ethan, that each Sir Shamrock candidate will try to win your support and donations Whoa. for their charity? This year, our candidates are Seth Bollinger, who you just saw the video of, Ethan Brubaker, Aaron Cummings, AJ Morales, and Mark Shuskowski. You can vote for your favorite candidate by placing your extra change or dollars in their charity jugs at lunch this week. At the end of the competition, competition the Sir Shamrock candidate with the most donations, me, Will win the contest, <coughs> be crowned the Sir Sharon Rock Live at after AM, and make a huge donation of all the money you raised by all five candidates to the chosen charity. Uh, I think he even meant to say me. Stay tuned this coming week for videos from each Sir Sharon Rock candidate. They will share with you why you should choose to use your donations to vote for their charity. Don't forget to vote at lunch this week. Have you ever wanted to help dogs and cats? The Cloister FFA is holding a pet supply donation drive for the pet pantry of Lancaster County. Donations that are accepted include unopened dog and cat food, food and water <laughs> dishes, toys, scotch tape, paper towels, gently used blankets and towels, kitty litter, leashes and collars, and Dawn dishwashing soap. Donations are being accepted now until March 30th. Donation boxes are located at the high school lobby, uh, Conestoga Animal Hospital, and the Ephraim Public Library. The course for FFA thanks you in advance for thinking of the animals. Attention juniors and seniors, Hack Experience Day is Friday, April 6th. This is a great opportunity to do the following. Discover over 100 plus programs, take part in Hack Chats with faculty, participate in a mock classroom situation, Learn about taking classes while in high school, tour the campus with student ambassadors, and have lunch on them. First come, first serve. Please stop by guidance and pick up a permission slip. The deadline is fri Friday, March 23rd. And now we'll read the next announcement. Attention seniors! The effort the National Bank Scholarships, including the Hitchman Scholarship, are now open. Log on to Navion's Family Connection to complete your applications. Apply today and get free money for college. Applications and all materials are due by March 31st. <laughs> Oh, it's all good. Uh, you've noticed some changes as we packed up for the media center renovation. The time has come. All classes, study hall, flex, obligation time, NHS passes, ECT will no longer be extended in the library beginning March 19th. Last day to use the media center and its resources for any reason is March 16th. Ah! Thank you for your understanding as we prepare to create a fantastic space for you. I'm not really that bad. Not really that bad. And now over to Eddie C with the news. Yeah. Uh, did I? 
No, that was me. I messed up. I did. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. That one. Okay. Well, hey. <coughs> I didn't see you there. Welcome to Effort of PM Daylight Savings Edition. No, you're all still an hour behind, so I thought I'd bring it to you real soon. <laughs> As of right now, South Korea has yet to hear back from the North Korean government regarding the extension of an offer to meet with Donald Trump last week regarding denuclearization. In what some are referring to as a surprising turn of events, Trump accepted Kim Jong-un's invitation last week, putting the ball back in North Korea's court. It is unknown when negotiations regarding the time and location for the meeting will begin. Additionally, this morning, there are reports that a plane crashed at Kathmandu International Airport in Nepal. The plane is capable of carrying up to 78 passengers, but it is unknown how many were on board and what the casualties were. It is not currently being thought to be an act of terrorism, as it is expected the plane simply ran off the runway accidentally, as we are all known to do sometimes. On this day in 1933, Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt gave his radio address broadcast to the American people. First known as Fireside Chats, Roosevelt spoke directly from the White House, and he began his first one by saying, I want to talk for a few minutes to the people of the United States about banking, just as we are all known to do. <laughs> Considering that was the greatest concern of the time during a time when confidence was shaken due to the Great Depression, FDR's Fireside Chats gave a little spark of hope, just like me, from time to time. Now back to the main desk of the bench. Ooh, wow, that was good. <laughs> Chicken pot pie. Oh, sorry. For lunch today, we have chicken pot pie with a roll of margarine. Chicken parm right. sandwich. Cheese crunchers. Cranberry chicken salad. Wrap. Oh, that's chef's salad. Uh, sweet peas. Fresh baby carrots or celery and dip. Chilled peaches, fresh fruit, or... <laughs> now over the sports. <laughs> okay, Edwin. Hands down, probably one of the best ever I am once all year. Yeah, you keep his face. <laughs> 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 week, spring sports are finally started. Today, the boys' tennis team will be traveling to northern Lebanon for the first time, for the first match of their season. Yeah. Now back to the main desk. <clears throat> Attention all students currently enrolled in AP courses. This Friday, March 16th, is the deadline to register for this year's AP exams. If you are interested, be sure to see your AP teacher or stop by the counseling office for an exam form and AP student bulletin ASAP. If we do not have this form and your $15 deposit for each exam that you are planning on taking by the end of the day on Friday, we cannot order an exam form for you. If you have any questions, please make an appointment to see your counselor through Mrs. Ditzler right away. Ninth grade leaders, Hobie Leadership is looking for six to ninth graders from EHS to attend a one-day leadership workshop in Lancaster County oh. Oh, on Saturday, April 14th. That's me at another Hobie event. You can be with the cool kids. Uh, this is an excellent opportunity to develop your leadership skills and connect with other future leaders. To be considered to attend, submit a one-paragraph essay to the guidance office on the following topic by Monday, March 19th. Explain why you would like to attend the leadership and workshop and how you will use the leadership skills developed there to improve after the high school. <clears throat> this week is a VM Spirit Week. We'll be selling cake for our park days after school on Thursday, March 15th, 13th for a VM Spirit Week because we are lucky to have you. Today is Crazy Sock Day. Tuesday is Gold, gold Day. Wednesday is Tie Dye Day. Thursday is Heritage Day. And Friday is a VM Day. Wear uh, VM shirts or black and yellow. 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 All right. Have a good day. Have an Edward Crack Day. <laughs> Quick, double time it. Go, 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 go. I heard the bell there. I was like, I gotta go. Wait, my watch says 30. I mean, obviously, my watch. Mary, do you mind switching that off back there? The, the time the is oh, 39. Where is it? Where'd you go on the calculator? Oh, the end? I didn't want I got it. I didn't you get to put. Oh. Oh, I did. I bet I got over on it. I was just so. No, my partner was Bryce. So no, we all sit in the same corner. My partner was Bryce. Before his partner was Corbin. And Paul and Dawson were partners, and we all sit my in the same area. Kyle I couldn't have gotten the lucky here. Because he doesn't care about other people. Like,